Welcome to Clip Creep. Today we will be looking at the top 5 incredibly creepy incidents that are totally real. If you enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos. Now, let's begin. Number 5. Sucked into a grave. The sun had just about set on December 19, 2016 when 64-year-old Joanne Cullen arrived at the Long Island Cemetery to visit her parents' burial plot. She spotted a bent out of shape bow on the wreath over the plot's headstone and bent over to fix it. As she did so, the ground beneath her feet gave way and she sank into the grave right up to her hips. The unexpected event caused her to lose her balance and tip over, hitting her head on the tombstone and cracking a tooth. She grabbed hold of the sides of the tombstone in desperation and shouted for help, but no one heard her. After she finally managed to crawl out of the grave, she immediately left the cemetery and refused to go back. Cullen also enlisted the help of a lawyer to sue the property owners of the cemetery citing emotional problems and nightmares stemming from the horrific incident. Number 4. Ghost Couple. On November 10, 2019, 60-year-old Sung Rui Xiong left his home and set off on a hike in the Pingtung Mountains. He didn't return home and his family spent an anxious 10 days searching for him before a villager spotted and accompanied Sung to the nearest police station. Sung had apparently climbed up a rock wall during his hike and lost his glasses in the process, leading to confusion. He then found a cave in which he stayed for a few days but left after realizing he would die there if he didn't make some kind of plan to be rescued. He told his family afterwards that he drank water from a stream and ate plants after his food ran out the same day he left for the mountains. When interviewed about his ordeal, Sung also claimed that a ghost couple met up with him outside the cave and walked with him for two hours. He believed them to be the ancient ghosts of indigenous Taiwanese and he further claimed that they disappeared from his side without a sound as soon as he reached the path leading down the mountain. Number 3. Bleeding Walls. When 77-year-old Minnie Winston stood up to get out of the bath on September 8, 1987, she noticed a pool of red liquid on the floor. She took a closer look and realized it was blood. When she looked around the bathroom, she saw blood pouring out of the walls and running over the floor into the adjacent hallway. Frightened that something might have happened to her husband, she called out to him. When he showed up in the corridor, he showed no signs of bleeding. Terrified now, Minnie called the police. Officers scoured the couple's home but found nothing that could have produced that amount of blood. They took some of it to be tested and later concluded it was human type O blood. Neither Minnie nor her husband had this blood type. To date the cause of the bleeding walls remains unknown. Number 2. Bone in Sock. On December 10, 2018 an unnamed customer bought a pair of socks at a Primark store in Colchester. What was a very mundane purchase turned out to be quite disturbing when the customer arrived home, took the socks out of their packaging and discovered a human bone inside one of them. The incident was reported to police on January 2, 2019 and Essex officers started an investigation. Unfortunately, the only thing they could establish was that the bone used to be part of a human finger. Police could not find any link to a criminal act and believed the incident to be a hoax. However, no apparent DNA testing was done on the bone and therefore the identity of the person it belonged to remains a mystery. Number 1 Real Life Pennywise. A prankster has been scaring the pants off people in the Ukraine since early December 2019. A person dressed up as Pennywise from it decided to hide behind bridges and in trash cans, popping up when unsuspecting passers-by amble past. The clown also pretended to pour gas over cars at a gas station while people are inside paying. Some patrons became so terrified that they ran away, leaving their vehicles behind. Videos of these pranks have gone viral, but also caught the attention of local law enforcement. A criminal case has been opened against Pennywise as it is suspected that the brains behind the clown operation are trying to promote violence. However, Pennywise is fighting back. He stated on social media that since his pranks are not affecting children or the elderly, he will not stop and that he has merely gotten started. If you have made it this far, thank you for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe on YouTube and follow on Rumble. Also, 
Leave us a comment with what you want to see in future. See you in the next one.